Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. The old intro is back. Anyways, today I bring you 56 facts you didn't know about Minecraft. Like and subscribe for more Minecraft facts. Anyways, enough rambling, let's go. The Warden is able to survive a fall from the build height limit all the way down to bedrock. This means the Warden can survive a 384 block fall, which is insane. You guys are built different. Anyways, moving on. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the beta days of the game, a bug existed in the game with doors. So if the player was to place a door next to a two tall cactus, then only half the door would get destroyed for some reason. This left you with half a door for some reason? It looked weird. The new chest bow is a lot bigger than a regular block as its hitbox spans up to nine blocks. This means you can place nine hoppers underneath the chest bow, allowing the player to transport items nine times faster than a regular chest. Hitting a shulker with an invisibility potion will make its shulker shell invisible, but not the shulker's head. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this looks so creepy. Hoppers in Minecraft can transfer 9,000 items per hour, which also amounts to 150 items per minute. That's a lot of items. Carved pumpkins are the only blocks in Minecraft that can be enchanted. That's right, the carved pumpkins can only be enchanted with the Curse of Binding and the Curse of Vanishing enchantments. This means if you wear the Cursed Pumpkin, then you won't be able to take it off until you die. Have fun trolling your friends with this one. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, a bug existed in the game that allowed you to place water in the nether. So in beta 1.9 pre-release 4, breaking ice in the nether would turn it into flowing water, which was of course not supposed to happen. It's definitely strange seeing water within the nether. Foxes love to hold items in their mouths. What's interesting is if a fox takes fatal damage and is holding a totem of undying, it will actually use the totem and receive its effects. You got lucky, Fox. You got lucky. The Woodland Mansion is a very rare, dangerous structure in Minecraft. However, if cleared out safely, the loot can be quite rewarding. This is because there are two rooms within the mansion that can be generated with diamond blocks. That's right, if you're lucky enough to find the obsidian room, you'll find a diamond block concealed within the obsidian. The other room is the lava room, which contains a glass case with lava inside. Clear out the lava within the glass case and you'll find another diamond block. It's also worth noting that woodland mansions are the only place in which a diamond block can generate. So yeah, they're pretty rare. When tree leaves decay in Minecraft, each tree type has a 5% chance to drop their sapling. However, this is not the case with jungle leaves as jungle saplings have a 2.5% chance to drop from their leaves. In Minecraft, there is a really good trick to get infinite music discs in your world. So we all know creepers drop a music disc if they're killed by a skeleton, but it's actually a really good way to take advantage of this feature. So if you trap a bunch of creepers in a pit full of water and then place TNT above the pit, you can then bait a skeleton into shooting the TNT. Once the TNT activates and explodes, all the creepers will die and each drop a music disc. When tadpoles were first added in Minecraft 1.19, they actually dropped experience points despite being a baby mob. Placing a bed underwater actually creates a small air pocket. This means the player can sleep in a bed underwater without the worry of drowning, which is, uh, interesting. The Minecraft launcher currently features a pig wearing a crown on its head. This was done to pay tribute to YouTuber Technoblade, who sadly passed away recently. Huge props to Mojang for doing this, man. It really is beautiful. But most importantly, may Technoblade rest in peace. He truly will be missed, man. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the alpha days of the game, a bug existed where the rain particles would continue to fall underwater. This, of course, made no sense, as in Minecraft today, rain particles disappear as soon as they make contact with the water. If you stand on top of a fence, you'll notice there's a big gap between you and the fence. This is because the top of a fence has the hitbox of one and a half blocks, which is kind of strange. In Java Edition, sticks can be crafted into ladders to gain a slight bonus in fuel efficiency when using a furnace. This is because seven sticks can smelt 3.5 items in a furnace, whereas if you use the seven sticks to craft three ladders, 4.5 items can be smelted instead. 
As of Minecraft 1.19, TNT is a lot more useful and here is why. So in 1.19, if ores are blown up by TNT, they will now drop experience points, which is just awesome. When the hardcore game mode was announced to be added into Minecraft, Notch actually joked about adding an ultra hardcore mode as well. Now ultra hardcore meant that the player would lose their Minecraft account if they died on said mode. Now this was of course a joke made by Notch, but could you imagine the outrage of players if it was real? It would be mayhem! When the time of day changes suddenly in Minecraft, the clock dial spins rapidly to catch up to the time change. For example, if I use the time set command, you'll see the clock will rapidly spin up to adjust to that time. The Warden has been confirmed by Mojang to be a completely blind mob, meaning it can only track the player by movement. However, despite being blind, if the player spectates a Warden, it will reveal that it still retains its normal vision. The only reason cakes were actually added into Minecraft is because Notch said he would add cake if Minecraft won the 2010 Indie Game of the Year awards. Spoiler alert guys, Minecraft won the award which is why we now have delicious cake. As you know, the beacon's light colour can be changed by using stained glass. This means there are a total of 12,326,391 different beacon colour combinations. Oh my god, that was an absolute mouthful saying all of that. Zombies drop the most items in Minecraft out of any other mob in the game. That's right, zombies can drop rotten flesh, iron ingots, carrots, potatoes, baked potatoes, iron shovels, iron swords, and any type of armour they spawn with. Zombies can also spawn wearing a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern on its head during Halloween. This means they're able to drop the pumpkins upon death as well. As you know, rabbits were added into Minecraft in version 1.8 in 2014. However, what you probably didn't know is that rabbits were originally going to be added in the survival test version in 2009. The original plan for rabbits is that when attacked by the player, the rabbits would pop into many pieces and start bleeding? What? Okay, I'm not surprised this version of the rabbit was never added because it just sounded terrible. Nice voice crack, Anthony. Anyways, moving on. The death sound audio file for killing a rabbit in Minecraft is called bunnymurder.ogg. So, um, yeah, don't kill rabbits because it's just, it's just wrong. Despite the beacon having obsidian in its crafting recipe, it does not need a diamond pickaxe to be mined. Instead, you can mine the beacon with any tool, which is uh, very lovely. If the player has 37 shulker boxes in their inventory hotbar and offhand slot, you're able to hold 999 64 stacked items. This allows the player to hold up to 63,973 items at once. The painting, known as Skull on Fire, actually contains a Minecraft world in the background of the artwork. Now this world is actually based on a real Minecraft screenshot that was taken by the artist in version Alpha 1.1.2. You know what's weird? Chests in Minecraft Bedrock Edition actually render as a full block within the inventory, but not when you place them. On Java Edition, chests are their correct size, so Bedrock Edition, fix it! If it happens to be raining in your Minecraft world, then the wait time for catching a fish is reduced by 20%, meaning you'll definitely want to fish when it rains. If you decide to fish in water that's not exposed to the sky, then the wait time for catching a fish is increased by 40%, so um, yeah. Don't do this. The Ender Dragon is the only mob in Minecraft that is not able to be named with a name tag. What gives, man? I can name a Wither subscribe to IDeactivate MC, which you should definitely do, by the way. Why can't I name a dragon? A chest full of 64 stacked rails will provide a total length of 1,728 meters when placed. This equates to more than one mile, which is a lot of rails. When diamonds were first added in Minecraft Index, in 2009, they were originally called emeralds by Notch. This technically meant emeralds were added into Minecraft a lot sooner than we thought. Sand, red sand, anvils, and dragon eggs will drop as items if they fall onto a boat that's placed in water. But anyways, those are the facts. If you made it this far to the video, comment netherite below. Anyways, bye!